Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone My name is Sufi Karafi Azuri Absen number 10 From class 10B Now I will I will tell you about Biography PJ Habibi Or you can call him Baharuddin Joseph Habibi PJ Habibi is a figure who has played an important role in the development of Indonesian technology and politics. He was born on June 25, 1936 in Parepare, South Sulawesi. Habibi is the fourth child of eight siblings in the Awi Abdul Jalil Habibi and Raden Ajang Tuti Marini Puspo Wartoyo. Beja Habibi's education starts at SMP and to Paripare, and he then continued his higher education at Technical Technology School, now Bandung Institute of Technology. Majoring in Mechanical and Aircraft Engineering. After graduating, he continued his studies at Technical Universitas Funchen in Germany where Habibi got his doctorate in engineering. The career starts at German Ireland company, Messerschmitt Bolko Blum. This is where he developed his skills and knowledge of airplane technology. Later in 1974, Habibi returned to Indonesia and was placed as Minister of Research and Technology under the government of President Suharto. During President Suharto leadership, PJ Habibi continued to play, to play a role in technology development in Indonesia. He also led the formation of state-owned companies such as PT Dirgantara Indonesia and PT PAL Indonesia. However, the peak of his political career occurred when he became the President of Indonesia in 1998 after Suharto's life. During his reign, Habibi tried to bring about a big change in Indonesia. He introduced political and economic liberalization policies as well as fit political prisoners. However, his leadership period only lasted for 70 months due to political pressure, resulting in his not being reelected. After leaving the president's position, PJ Habibi continued to contribute in various fields, especially in the education and technology sectors. He founded the Habibi and Ainun Foundations, which focused on developing human resources in the fields of technology and aerospace. On September 11, 2019, PJ Habibi returned to Rahmatullah, leaving a major legacy in the development of technology and politics in Indonesia. He remains remembered as a visionary dedicated to the progress of the nations and states. Now that's all for me and thank you for listening. Goodbye.